Nicole DaCosta here with Fashion News Live. What an exciting night at Paint the Runway Purple. We're supporting local designers here in beautiful Portland, Oregon tonight. We've got a great show in store, and let's chat with people as they arrive on the red carpet. All right, here she is, the woman we have all been waiting for in a sea of white, a beautiful sea of white, Desi with Desi Designs. This night would not be possible without you. How did this come about? Well, I um, wanted to um, have an opportunity and a platform for emerging designers because I've done the 12 runway shows in the past two years since I've graduated from school. And I've taken every little thing I've learned from those runway shows and what I liked and what I didn't like. And one of the things I didn't like was charging uh, designers to be in a fashion show. And how can we ever make money if we have to keep paying to be in runway shows, especially if you're local? And so I invited four other emerging designers. They are not being charged. And in fact, everyone is earning 15% of every ticket sold through Ticket Tomato under a promo code I set up. And um, on top of that, it actually started out as a fundraiser to get us to Art Hearts Fashion in Los Angeles in October. But I wanted to do it right. I wanted to give it 100%. So I was going to do this right. I started to think about the roots of Fashion Week, which used to be called Press Week and back in like in the 40s and 50s. So I wanted an opportunity for the press buyers and boutique owners to come and have a presentation, a private viewing with the designers and their collection to build up that hype, that mystery. And that's what we just did. So we just finished our private viewing and hopefully one of us designers or all of us can land a contract and sell our items in boutiques or you know mass production. So after that, I am fortunate to have um, friends in the entertainment industry to come as my guests and everyone involved we have 245 volunteers um, I have lots of sponsors um, a big part thanks to my mom and dad and, yeah and I wouldn't be here talking to you without without their financial support thanks mom thanks dad and um, and so we I wanted to put this together to make it a really fun and show what fashion is and make a paradigm shift of of what we should see on the runway and I'm about diversity and I show every shape and size on the runway and I uh, will not be in a runway show unless I can bring my own models. So. I love this and you've made a dress for me before in the past yeah. and you are stunning. What was the inspiration behind the collection behind us right here? Um, the I had a couple of inspirations usually when I do a collection it's not just one so it's a combination of things. One is I the trend that's happening right now you see a lot of lace peeking through on the red carpet and it seems really tacky to me it seems kind of sleazy so I wanted to take this and make it all white um, and with purity and this is also my first ready-to-wear collection so everything I've been doing up to this point has been couture and I wanted to do something that was easy patterns easy fits they, there's only one garment in this collection that has a zipper everything else is is button snap or, or um, corset tie up and so I wanted to market pieces that I could do mass production so then it's about naming the collection. I named it 725 AM because that was the time I was born. So this is new beginnings, new birth, new, you know, renew, and it just was all white. And, um, and so it's, and it's also in honor of my sister who passed away. Um, I wanted to also give it a little Chanel taste with the black, you hear, you see hints of black here and there. So that was my inspiration for the collection. Absolutely stunning. You guys, can we give her a hip hip hooray on three? <laughs> One, two, three. Woo! Desi! <laughs> All right, just ran into one of my favorite designers here in the Portland area, Kate Miles, and she's not even 17 years old, you guys. Look at these beautiful, beautiful creations she came up with just for tonight's show. Tell us about the collection. So the collection is very, it's supposed to be very whimsical. I like to do things um, with a modern edge, of course, but I like to draw in some uh, more sophisticated, vintage-inspired silhouettes. And so um, the color is all very, um, very bridal, very springy, but also with a pop of blush as well. And so it kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Because this is pretty impressive just to walk around with these beautiful people. But what, what, what's going to really make it for you this evening? Well, I really know, I can see how hard Desi has been working on this event. And so I really am just mostly excited to see how it comes together for her and to see her hard work pull, um, really pay off and to see the community coming together to support her and all the local artists. I think it's really um, gratifying. So exciting. Right out of Yakima, Washington, here is the man about town, you guys. Andres, 
Pinot dough. Correct? Did I say that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah got it. Woohoo! <laughs> you guys all look awesome. Let's hear about the designs that you came up with for tonight. Yeah, um, so this collection is all based upon me mm -hmm. and who I am as a designer. Uh, I am showing a few of my uh, signature looks mm -hmm. and as well as uh, a few looks that I'm currently working on for uh, my new collection in the fall. Oh, fantastic. This is very exciting news, right? Mm -hmm. Are you excited to see the walks go down the runway tonight? Yes, um, especially because my uh, my husband is here, and so uh, it's his first time. A little support. Yeah, and so it, it's uh, it's his first time looking uh, like watching any of my shows and stuff, and so um, I'm excited for for him to. Oh, that's to so see. rewarding on so many fronts, right? It, yeah. And the material choices and color choices just stunning. Yeah, um, everything is all jewel tones, and you know everything's like um, I do like I do focus on the shape of a woman uh, as well as you know exactly figuring out how to drape a dress on the body because for me I think it's really important on how it looks on the body. Well we appreciate it right girls we appreciate a good cut of a dress. So exciting just ran into Kendra Jones and you have quite the posse following you around tonight girl oh my gosh. <laughs> yes I know I have a whole entire entourage you know I'm just building up a movement and an empire at the same time. I just like all the hair I mean I felt a little bit naked here with all that beautiful big, hair. Big hair I love to go bigger but go home right. <laughs> so what are you showing off tonight I know I saw some beautiful pieces but what was the inspiration. My inspiration for this line, Embody Me, is to show the woman's body and showing that sexuality is a good thing and as women, no matter what shape or size you are, you are beautiful. Oh, that's a message I can get behind. Oh my gosh, and as girls, we can be so critical of ourselves. So everyone was holding their head very high, so. Yes, yes we build, I'm building self-esteem with these ladies as well. It's not just about the clothes, it's about the movement. That's what my line is all about. All right, just ran into Joy with Kahini Creative, correct? Oh my gosh, and I, you guys, we have quite the crowd. I wish we could spin the camera around to look at all these beautiful people staring at us right now. You are showcasing some cool stuff tonight. Tell us about that. So my creation is Steel Magnolia and Shimmer and Shine, and it has some party wear, it has some work wear. I've used sequins, silk, linen, so it's all sophisticated and glamorous to make the woman feel beautiful. It does look very glamorous. I mean, this is kind of a timeless look, too, which I love. And tell us, you have some more exciting news. So if tonight wasn't enough, I hear you're opening a store. Yes, I am. I'm super excited about it. So I'm opening my first store in Bellevue, Washington, in Factoria Mall. It's going to be launched on 4th June, and I'm also having a fashion show to launch that. Oh so God. I hope some people can make it for that, too. Oh, congratulations. Best of luck, you guys. Can we give her a woohoo together, you guys? Woo! <laughs> Thanks, Joy. We'll see you on the runway. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. It was my pleasure. Anna and Easton, you guys, so fun that you guys are here. Thank you so much for being a sponsor tonight. And which hotel are you guys representing? We're with the Candlewood Suites in Vancouver, Washington. We're brand new. We've been open for about four months, and we're so glad to be here. It's my kiddo's birthday, so it's a nice treat for him to see. I love awesome it. Awesome outfits. Yeah. So many awesome outfits. And you guys have beautiful outfits, too. You guys chose the purple theme very appropriately. Which birthday is this for you? Uh, 13th. 13th, high five, you're a teenager. How cool is that? Beautiful models everywhere. This is your birthday party. Thank, Thank you guys so much for being sponsors and everything's going well with the hotel. Everything's going great. Thank you so much. We just, you know, hopefully everybody can come out and see us soon. David, you are a teacher of cosmetology here locally at Fagans. What, what have you learned tonight? What are you going to take back to your students? Isn't it amazing to look around this room? Yes, it's very inspir inspiring to me and my students. Um, uh, a lot of them... We have that inspiration when we go into the school, but it's good to see other people creating uh, design in clothing and them being able to incorporate the hair and makeup into their uh, designers' want, you know, their needs. Now, what do you enjoy most about your job? Because it must be very fulfilling. It's, it is very fulfilling. Um, my passion is hair design, and I love doing hair design. Um, what really inspires me is to see other students and people become successful through this career. It's a career that can bring a lot of people up out of poverty and it's just an amazing group of people that we have to work with. That energy is so uh, strong and potent um, when these people are coming up trying to do something for their lives. Oh, I love it. We're so happy you guys are here. You guys are just having a great time. You have a big crew here tonight, so we appreciate you coming out. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right, how's my hair and makeup? I'm asking the right girl here. You <laughs> so, look good. You really do. Nicole Ray, we're so happy that you came up for this event. This is truly awesome. How's everything going so far? It's been going really good, and we're ahead of schedule, which never 
happens ever, especially during Fashion Week. So it's been going awesome. It's We've got a good assembly line going and everything. So I'm really excited. And the looks are amazing. The looks are amazing. I wish you guys, I wish we could do a 360 pan here. Everyone coming in looks phenomenal. And it's all thanks to your work as well to make sure all of our touch-ups and everyone's staying looking polished all yes. night long, right? <laughs> yes. Well, you know, your contour is on point because I think someone over here did it. I know. I'm so <laughs> thankful. I finally have good contouring. I mean, Kim Kardashian would be really proud right now, right? Okay. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so what are you most looking forward to to this evening? So everyone looks great. We're feeling good. What's going to like truly bring it for you this, this evening? I'm really excited to see Desi Designs collection on the runway because one, her, in, her designs are flawless, but to hit the runway with that lighting and the makeup and the hair scheme that they've got going on, I'm ready to see it. It is a full production, like, you know, it's not just putting the clothes on some models. It's like from head to toe, hair, makeup, jewelry, outfit, the whole nine. I'm just like, oh, let's do this. <laughs> I love it. Thanks so much for being here tonight. And thanks for touching up my makeup. I really appreciate it. Only the best, you guys. Definitely. See you out there. <laughs> Samantha, the director of hair and makeup for Desi Designs. You have quite the role tonight. How are, how are things going so far? Flawlessly, and it's so much fun down there. I cannot wait till the show begins, and you can see our magic. It's going very well. Oh, I love this. And you guys have a lot of models in this in this year's show, correct? Yeah, I think about 27. Yeah, yeah. that's what I, I mean. Everybody's been lined up. What are you most excited to see on the runway this evening? Just her new collection. It's beautiful. Um, just love. Just it's wait and see. It's going to be absolutely amazing. I love this. And you guys have worked together for quite a while, correct? For a couple, about a couple years now, or a year and a half. And she's absolutely amazing. And I, um, I just love our team, the love. You can feel the love in the air. And we work so well together. And um, we create just some magical pieces and uh, love our photo shoots as well. I love it. If you guys were at Couve Couture not too long ago, you did those beautiful headpieces as well. I sure do. I do extreme runway show headpieces. You'll see some feature tonight. And then by day, I'm a hairdresser at Cut Loose Salon. Love it. Thanks so much. Best of luck tonight. You guys are going to rock it.